Aloha, everyone. I just wanted to show the importance of transferring your kinetic energy as you move your body forward during the stroke. So, <clears throat> as you know, we've been uh, stressing the importance of the hinge at the start of your stroke. How that is important is that you're transferring the energy from your body, upper body mass as it moves forward, as well as as you swing your arm forward with the paddle. You're transferring that energy, that kinetic energy into the canoe, and it aids the canoe in going forward. But there are certain things that you can do that will uh, dampen that effect. And so I hope to show that to you today. I made a skateboard canoe simulator. So as you can see, it's just a chair sitting up on a platform on wheels. And so I want to demonstrate uh, the effect that you're trying to get as you move forward, move your upper body mass forward as well as your um, as well as your paddle and your paddle arm. So you're taking that energy from your body going forward and transferring it into the canoe. Now force has a direction; it has a vector component. So you want that force to go forward, okay? As well as your arm. So when you swing your arm, you want it to go forward. You don't want it to curve out and in because that causes the canoe to the back end to fishtail. So you want to adjust your strokes so that you have a minimized curve as you go forward and you want to point your arm straight out parallel with the gunnels so you get maximum you can take maximum advantage of that kinetic energy uh, as you paddle. And the faster you push forward, push that upper body mass forward, as well as swing your arm through, the faster you do that, the more energy you'll supply to the boat. Now what I'm demonstrating is the transfer of energy. Now these wheels can go this way as well as that way. They can go in any direction. And the object is to make the wheels go forward. Okay. Now you start from the release position. You're sitting up straight and as you go forward you're swinging through, you're pushing your body, upper body mass forward and your center of gravity of that upper body mass is somewhere around here and you're pushing it forward as fast as you can, okay? But <clears throat> you don't want to you don't want to push that energy down into the boat. You want to push it forward, okay? Now, the other thing you want to do is you want to swing your paddle forward. Now, if you swing it this way, you're going to see that there's action that there's action where I'm fishtailing towards you. So, in order to maximize the energy transfer straight ahead, you want to take that swing out of your stroke. You want to dampen that as much as possible and go straight forward. Okay? Go straight forward. And being on a platform like this, you can practice what will give you the best energy transfer. Okay? The other thing I'd like to demonstrate is that. <clears throat> When you're sitting in the canoe, you usually have one foot back and on the other foot is forward. And you want to put your weight, transfer that weight and energy into your foot, pushing the canoe forward. Okay? 
<clears throat> so one of the things I'd like to demonstrate in this direction is the rotation of your hands. So when you come forward, you're coming up and over, okay? So coming up and rotating to the 12 o'clock position, okay? Where your hands are stacked, okay? So on the other side, it's just, it's swinging from the opposite direction. So you're coming from this direction, rotating that, stacking over your hands, okay? So it's swinging forward, pushing, your arms are straight, okay? And swinging, rotating that top hand over to the 12 o'clock position from the two o'clock position if you're on your left side, and it's swinging over from the 10 o'clock position to the 12 o'clock position if you're on your right. Now the other thing that I'd like to demonstrate is hand position. The other thing that you want to do is you want your hands to go forward. You don't want them to go up, okay? And that's what I see a lot of people doing. They're doing up, then down, okay? It's just swing forward and then hinge a little bit more down into the water. And then just sit up, pushing with that top hand, okay? So if you have your hand positions where you're way down on the paddle, and if you have um, a long paddle, you're going to notice when you swing up, your hands are much further above your head, okay? You only want about a fist length above your head at the top of your stroke. So adjust your hand position so that when you go forward, it's only about a hand's length above your head, okay?